the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Let's go, Nick. Yeah. Throw it up. Bam! He's ready. Charlie and Kaylee are ready, too. And the three best teachers from their school are here, too. You made it. I love this. Wow. Check this out. Look who we have. We have the students, and we have our teachers from William Tennant High School in Fox <laughs> County. I know. I know. They just entered the classroom. The show lets students try to prove that they are, in fact, smarter than their teachers. Will they be? Well, we're going to find out at the end of this episode. Hey, the best schools, these guys rocking. The audience is rocking today. They're here because they know what's on the line, and that's $500. But more importantly for the students, it's bragging rights that want to say, I am, in fact, smarter than my teacher. Before we meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. So we're going right to a pop quiz. Okay, game starts now. Teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can, guys. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, somebody on the other side can jump in, buzz in, and steal those points. Whether you are ready or not, Pop Quiz starts right now. In music, what is the term for timing or speed of the music performed? Charlie. Meter. Here we go. Mr. Smith. Tempo. Tempo is right. There you go. What is the informal term used for the elongated northwestern part of Florida nestled under Alabama? Kaylee. Panhandle. There it is. What popular cartoon series named all four main characters after major artists of the Italian Renaissance? Kaylee. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The TMNT. Yeah, it's my favorite. In the NBA, the Raptors represent what Canadian city? Mr. Smith. Toronto. What law did President Jackson sign to force Native Americans east of the Mississippi from their homes? Charlie. Trial of Tears. For the steel teachers? One second. Looking for the Indian Removal Act was the correct answer there. Here is your extra credit question of the day worth two. What is the name of the MLS team based in Philadelphia? Charlie. Union. There it is. Worth double. Good job. What harmonizing R&B group's first single was Motown Philly? Mr. Smith. Boys and men. Love that, man. Yeah. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton was the first secretary of what? Charlie. Treasury. There it is. Who wrote the novel, The Great Gatsby? Miss Banshee. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Good, on the board. What actress voiced Anna in the Disney movie Frozen? Miss Banshee again. Kristen Bell. Good, back to back. Good for you. What is the first and last name of the bodybuilder elected governor of California in 2003? Mr. Smith. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Good job. And that is it for Pop Quiz. How about it? What a round. What a round. Both sides loving it. And that is it. So let's take a look. 60 for the teachers, 50 for the students. And man, I am so pumped up because today we have the students and teachers from William Tennant High School in Warminster, PA. Yeah, Kaylee's got it right. This school rocks, girl. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, good. Welcome good. to the show. You ready to do this? Of course. All right, so $500 is on the line today. If you win this, where are we mm -hmm. putting it? Um, we're putting it towards Nick's Clicks, which is a organization in honor of an alumni student, Nick Esposito, who um, tragically passed away from a drunk driving accident. Nick Clicks um, funds uh, drunk and distracted driving education. What a perfect place to put that money. Hopefully you guys win that today. <laughs> All right, so Kaylee, you're a 12th grader. She's so pumped to be here, guys, because you love to make videos. Yeah. Like, um, are you kind of in heaven right now? Um, yeah, this is like kind of my element, so I guess you could say. Are we going to see a video, sum up, a uh, recap of this whole um, day? Maybe. All right, Who well, knows? cool. Well, hopefully it ends with you going like this. I just won $500! <laughs> all right, Charlie, my man, good to see Hello. you. Hello. 12th grader, this guy does it all. He's the, he's the pres class president for I the am. seniors, uh, captain of the swim team, and that's where we're going to talk about today. What do, you, what do you participate in swim? Because I know there's all sorts of different stuff, right? So I'm mainly sprint freestyle and butterfly. So and what's a, what does that look like? Because I'm, I'm this. What is this called? That's a doggy right, paddle. So first, you got to elongate your arms. Yeah. All the way back, rotate, and the butterfly, move at the same time. Oh, you're yeah. like a more attractive Michael Phelps. So I'm yeah. excited I'm you're here, Charlie. Agree with that. Good to Same see you, man. Good to see you. And Nicholas, 12th grader. And you, you had a great start to the show here. He's got his future <laughs> figured out. I go, man, what are you doing? He goes, let me tell you. What are you doing? Well, I plan on becoming a nurse practitioner. That's awesome. Anything yeah. in particular you'd love to be? Uh, I just want to, you know, 
help out, you know, make people happy, make people healthy, just do my thing. Man, you know? listen, if I go down today, I want you to resuscitate me, all right? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, well, good luck. 500 on the line. Let's do this today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> good kids. Good kids. Good kids. Hey, good teachers, though, because you need someone to lead them, and these three are going to do it. <laughs> Mrs. McCaffrey, good to see you. Good 500 see you. on the line. What are you going to do if you win it? We are going to donate to Centennial Education Foundation, which is um, our local foundation uh, that provides grants and opportunities Perfect. for Man, both sides. Great mm -hmm. opportunities on both sides. I love this because Mrs. McCaffrey and I kind of know each other because it's a small world. You're the TV teacher at your school at William Tennant. I'm the TV teacher at my school, so we're like, hey, what's yeah. up? It's like a little reunion. Listen, yeah. you used to be a journalist, I believe, right? before you got into this how long yes. were you actually in the in the streets for uh 20 years i spent in the wow. business i'm not old though i was like two oh. when i started yeah yeah yeah, yeah. hey girl i get that <laughs> oh i'll do it all right mr smith math teacher good you have a cool oh. side gig as well i do yeah, I'm a licensed contractor. I do uh, home remodeling. All right, so this is my thing, because everybody's a DIY guy nowadays. <laughs> Give right. me the one tip you would say, if you're going to DIY, this is it. Uh, just because you see it on TV doesn't mean it's that easy. Um, <laughs> hire someone to do it. All right, so hey, Mr. Smith, <laughs> me. we're going to put your phone me. number right <laughs> here. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> call Mr. Smith All right, Mrs. Banshee, uh, you're an English teacher to the senior class. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. You kind of have a good pulse being the senior. You, you've seen these guys. Yes. Look at them over here smiling, right. pointing yeah. at you, saying we're going to get you. <laughs> Has it been nice or has it been civil? What's been going on? It's actually been pretty civil. As you said, we're pretty excited about where the money would go in either case, so we're pretty excited for whoever wins today. So. Right. And the students are like, what do you mean? You stay, we're going hard. Hey, the game starts right now. We're going back to detention. Here we go. Okay, guys, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or if you want to pass. If you choose to play, you answer the question correctly. You can send anybody else, specifically your teacher, to detention. But if you get it wrong, be careful because they can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, guys. The same exact elimination rules apply. Hey, if you get the entire team into that spot over there, you're going to win. 40 points for your team, and you're gonna have big smiles on your face. So, students, here we go. We're gonna start with you guys trailing by 10. Category is notable people. Pass or play? Oh boy. Pass. Pass. You're saying pass. Here we go, teachers. <laughs> Justin Trudeau is the current prime minister of what country? Canada. Canada. Oh, yes, that is absolutely right. <laughs> Students, I hate to say uh, that was not the right decision to pass. Did you guys know that one? I, I, I know. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, you have, uh, you have a tough, tough mm -hmm. job in your hands, teachers, because you get to send somebody to detention. Who's it going to be? Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Swim your way over there, Kyle. He called hard for the pass, so it's only right you're sitting there now. And teachers, you control the category as well as we move into English. <laughs> I, th I think we have to play right yes. now. Otherwise, we're gonna play. All right, here you go. Oh. What Robert Frost poem starts with the words, two roads diverged in a yellow wood? Road less traveled. Road less traveled. Yeah. Uh, sure. No, but. Yes. <laughs> okay, road less traveled. Wow, that was Ooh. so close. Oh. It's the road not oh my taken. Gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, girl. Same thing. Don't worry about it. But how about this, guys? They get it wrong. You get to send somebody to detention next. So, Kaylee, my man Nicholas, who's it going to be? We'd like to send Miss Banshee to detention. Miss Banshee out of the game. The next one to detention. <laughs> Charlie's going, come on, girl. I got a seat for you right here. All right, students, we're going back to you guys. The category is math. Uh, We'll take it. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow, you seem so confident. <laughs> what does x plus 8 equal if x is negative 3? You can talk about it. Five. Five. They didn't even have to do a calculator. I was over here like, what? Good job, guys. Hey, you get to send somebody else to detention. You sent Mrs. Banshee first. Who's going to follow her? We'd like to send Mr. Smith. <laughs> Mr. Smith out of the game, my man. OK. Two teachers down, and how about this, Mr. McCaffrey? It comes down to you. Great. All right, your back's against the wall. Remember, you can toss over to here if you don't think they're going to get this right. Okay. How do you feel about the category of games? Uh, I'll pass. Here we go, guys. Right. Good luck. Which chess piece can never move backwards? Pawn. 
pawn. For the win, pawn is right. Ms. McCaffrey, you have to go to detention. Charlie is on his way out. Yeah. Score stands, students 90 points, teachers 60. Hey, do not go anywhere, because when we come back, some of our contestants are going to study hall. We'll see you right after the break. What a win! Boom, bam, ping, yes! Yep. A lot of points to be had still, so hopefully they're not they're not jumping for joy too early here. Welcome back to the classroom today. We have students and teachers from William Tennant High School in Bucks County. They're going head to head. The scores, how about this? Students rocking it, 90 points for you. Yeah, flex on them <laughs> fools, and those fools are our teachers. Hey, they have 60 points for them, so both sides are doing well here. There's still plenty of time left in this game for anyone to win. Pay attention, y'all, because we're going to study hall. Okay, here's how the game works. Each team's gonna select one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Those two players are gonna have 10 seconds to study a photo. I'm gonna ask three questions about that photo one at a time. Both players are gonna have five seconds to write down their answers to each question on a chalkboard. And when you do, if you get it right, you're gonna get 10 points. You get it wrong, no points awarded. So, teams, eye up the other side. See how much you like them. Who's going to study hall? Five seconds on the clock. Okay, teachers, we're going to start with you. Quick five seconds, but you look ready. Nick. All right, Nick, don't go anywhere because you get to pick your opponent. Who's going, guys? Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, Nick, I'll see you guys in study hall. Let's do this. All right, we're in the zone, guys. We're in the zone. I heard you guys pick Mr. Smith because you don't think his glasses prescription is right. We're going to see how he does here. You have 10 seconds on the clock. Looking at that screen right there, let's put up that photo. Okay, that is 10 seconds. Woo, that is a quick 10. Here we go. Picture down. And here is your question. How many men are in the black and white photograph? Hopefully you guys are playing at home as well as these guys are jotting down their answers. Here we go, guys. Let's see those answers. We have five and five and five. Is that 55? Nope, it's just five written a bunch of ways. The answer, one, two, three, four, five is right. Both sides getting 10 points. Nicely done and good start as we move right into question number two. What is sitting on top of each plate? Go. It's sitting on top of each plate. Nicholas after it, Mr. Smith after it. Here we go, reveal your answers. They said soup bowl and a bowl, the correct answer. Let's see it. The ball's absolutely nicely done, guys. There's another 10 on both sides. Hey, how you doing at home? We're gonna find out if you can get this last one as well. Here we go, question number three. Five seconds. There are two utensils on each napkin, a fork and a what? Good luck. Here we go, let's reveal your answers. We have differentiating ones here. Knife and spoon, one of these is correct. The answer is, that's a knife right yes. there. Knife yes. is right. Yes. Mr. Smith with the points. Nicholas with none. That brings the score to 110 for the students, 90 for our teachers. Guys, we're not done yet because music class is next, followed by the all important final exam. This classroom is still in session. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, I love that. Nice little teamwork right there. Panther in the business. Hey, welcome back to the classroom. I'm so glad you guys made it back today. We have the students and teachers from William Tennant High School in Bucks County. Cheer team, hit them with the cheer. T-E-N-N-E-N-T, -E -N -N -E -N Tennant, let's go! Hey, that's right, and that's where we're taking this. Students in the lead right now, 110 points. Teachers trailing slightly behind with 90, and this game's only getting better because we are not gonna fall flat on our high Gs as we head over to music class. Let's go.
Okay, okay, teams, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. You sing them in the car, but do you really know them? Well, we're going to find out. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is going to read a small portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in is going to win 10 points for their team. We have three questions today. If they buzz in, they get it incorrect. The other side can still jump in and steal those points. Let's jump in as we head into music class. Question one, what DJ sings these lyrics in a 2014 Billboard hit song? Mikey J. All right, Richard, here we go with the first one. When I met you in the summer to my heartbeat sound. Kaylee, first one to buzz in. Calvin Harris. Calvin Harris, I met you in the summer is right. Nicely done, Kaylee. As we move into question number two of music class, Mike Jarek's got the answer to this one. What performer co-wrote and sang these lyrics in a 2012 song? Throwing it back. Oh, the second one's a good one. Oh, she got her head in the clouds and she's not backing down. No, this girl is on fire. Kaylee, first one to buzz in. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, just call this round the Kaylee round because this girl is on fire. As we keep going, question number three, what performer co-wrote and sings these lyrics? Again, a little bit of throwback, 2014 song. Mike Jarek, go ahead, bud. All right, here's your last one. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. Welcome back, where today Kaylee's making a run for the end of this show. So I just want you to look right there to that camera and I want you to say the answer. Megan Trainer. That's right, there's another one right. How about it, she sweeps the round. That's 30 points for Kaylee and the students bringing their score up to 140, 90 points for the teachers. Man, we have an awesome game on our hands and both teams still have a chance to win and teachers know a little bit of something about final exams. Here we go. Okay, the topic of today's final exam is first place. That means all the questions have to do with something or someone being first. Keep that in mind, guys. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic, guys. There's still 300 points left to be won because each question is gonna be worth 100 points. You're gonna work together, write down your answers during the commercial break. Charlie, not quite yet. I'm gonna give you these questions first. Here we go, question one on the final exam. What is the first and last name of the first, first lady of the United States. How about that question? Here we go, number two. What true Jackson VP star became the first black actress to play Cinderella on Broadway? Question number three. Name two of the freedoms protected in the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Ooh, man, how you doing at home? Are you like, I don't know? Well, we're gonna see if these students and teachers know because when we come back, they have 60 seconds on the clock and we're gonna figure out which team is gonna answer these questions correct and ace their final exam, rank first right here in today's episode of The Classroom. But hey, you guys wanna be a part of this show, check it out, let me see what time it is. It's you time, here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Big game on our hands. What a game right now. Welcome back to the classroom. Listen. You want to talk about neck and neck students, they're in the lead right now. They're from William Tennant. They're pumped, they're psyched, and they're going head to head against their teachers who have still 90 points on the board. Listen, before we went to break, we talked about the final exam, and then it got weird because we went to break. Charlie started yelling across studio about how he's winning this thing. Charlie, what would it mean for the students to win this whole thing? Uh, bragging rights for like all the students at Tennant. <laughs> so we bring them back to Tennant. All the students get bragging rights for against all the teachers. Saying they're the smartest ever. Yeah. Kaylee, do you agree you can oh, do this yeah, today? Oh, yeah, 100%. All right, well, 
well, listen, that. all the students that are watching at home right now, they're doing this for you. We're going to see how they're doing today because we learned that the topic today is first place. Will they get there? Well, we're going to find out. Each correct answer is going to have something to do with first. We asked three questions. Each correct answer is going to bank them 100 points. So let's see who does this. Aces this final exam and takes the money back to their schools. Question number one, as we get things kicked off, what was the first and last name of the first? First Lady of the United States. Teachers, you're behind right now, so we're gonna start with you. You said? We said Martha Washington. That's gonna get you 100, bring you up to 190. Okay, Mrs. Banshee. All right, Nicholas is smiling over there, but he just might be smiling because he looks good in the mirror every yeah. morning. Or he could be have the right answer. Let's check it out. What did you say, Nicholas? I also said Martha Washington. There it is, there's another 100 right there. Okay. And we move into question number two. Teachers, listen, I know there's a lot of pressure on the line right now. You guys have to rattle off two straight answers to keep this thing alive. What True Jackson VP star became the first black actress to play Cinderella on Broadway? Mr. Smith, you look like a Broadway guy. <laughs> yes. You said? That would be Kerry Washington. <laughs> Incorrect, stay right there because how about this? Charlie, you can win this whole thing before you even see your answers. Just remember, 500 is on the line today. Your answer, Charlie. Kiki Palmer. That's a $500 answer. <laughs> Students win the game. Get out here and get your money. Hey, what two freedoms protect in the First Amendment to the United States? We would accept the religion, speech, press, assembly, petition. It's one of the best, and you guys are the best. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to see you guys next time. We have all new students, all new money, and hey, another great episode. We'll see you next time on The Classroom. Teachers, great job, guys. Nice and done. Students, nice and done. Yo, you're going.